Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. We are headed to uh, Middletown. Uh, Bailey's having surgery this morning. Uh, she's having, she's getting spayed. Uh, she's in the back seat. She's being really good. She's looking out the window like a typical dog. She's just acting like how she would never normally act in a car. She's, I, I guess, I don't know. It, she's she's growing up, and it's making me sad. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's get to Middletown. Later. It's so weird to not have Bailey here in the house like it's so quiet and I don't know I don't like it at all so I hope she's almost done which well you have a, a time to pick her up Yeah I gotta go pick her up for 3.15 um, Yeah I wish they would like tell us you know how she's doing but <laughs> Send us pictures I know <laughs> yes that's pictures of her knocked out on the table I hope she's okay like uh and remember with Allie, she was just like so messed up and like barely could walk, right? Like, then we have to help her get in the car yeah, afterwards. I'm really nervous about this because, first of all, they had to carry Bailey up the stairs. Like, it's before a surgery like, even happened. Like, I don't, like, how are they going to get her down the stairs if she's all drugged up? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Well, I'm sure they've no. run into that problem before with other dogs. I'm hoping this place is a little more professional than Titan, whereas Titan was just like, okay, we're done, come get her. And. Like, there's no yeah. waiting period. It was just like, we just did the surgery, now come get her, and like, no I think, recovery. I remember with Titan, it, it seemed like so fast. Like, I, we dropped her in the morning and picked her up in the morning. It was ridiculously sketchy. But yeah. the price was right. That's, yeah, unfortunately. That's the problem. But this place looks amazing. It looks like a school. Um, sorry <laughs> about the video with no audio. I apologize, but. You got the gist of what's happening yeah. with the text on the screen. And, um,. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna get her down the stairs if she's all drugged. Don't up. worry about like, it. Maybe they'll put her on a little dog bed that rolls like, you know, a stretcher. <laughs> anyway, we've just been kind of chilling and I, like we got ready super slow, at least me and Scarlett, because like it's just, there's too many obstacles right now with a newborn. Um, I had a very rough night. I, I didn't bring it up, but on Tuesday night before going to bed, I tried to breastfeed Amaya. And she just did not want to latch at all. Like, it was really hard. Like, I don't know what was going on. But eventually she did. And I didn't really think much of it. Um, I assumed because I put some, um, what's that, lanolin cream or whatever for my boobs. It was like, this, you know, to help heal them. They've been having some issues lately. And I just got, like, I assumed she didn't like the taste of it. So, like, I washed it off. And, like, I tried a few more times. And eventually she latched. Everything was fine. And then last night, again, before bed, she just would not latch whatsoever and I'm like I don't know what's going on and like I thought okay well eventually she'll do it but she never did and she was getting like super stressed out and I was super stressed out and I really didn't want to resort to it but I ended up having to give her a bottle of formula and like I'm super thankful formula exists and that we had some in the house but like it just broke my heart and like I did not want to do it at all but she needed to eat um Ken got to feed her so at least you had that nice little experience. Yeah, I, I, I miss that part <laughs> yeah. of being a dad, you know? I liked being Scarlet. Well, I did plan a pump in a couple of weeks, so you could do it, but... Yeah, so a little too early. Yeah, so she took that, everything was fine, went back to sleep, and then, like, you know, a couple hours later, it was time for her to eat again, and she... Oh, so while he was doing... While he was feeding her the formula, I had a pump, like, I, I knew. So a few hours later, again, she did not want... To breastfeed at all and so i had to give her what i pumped and she drank it no problem because at first i was like maybe it's my diet like i don't know why she doesn't want she the likes milk your milk but doesn't want your boobs yeah she doesn't want my boobs she wants the milk so i gave her the milk i pumped and i just had deja vu of when i had scarlet when she wouldn't latch in the beginning and it's just like yeah, instead scarlet of wouldn't drink your milk at first either that's though. true like scarlet was strictly like i want formula i don't want your breast milk. yeah at least she but, likes your milk yeah so normally you know, I change my uh, breastfeed her, I put her back to bed. That takes like 20 minutes. On top of pumping, These bottle feed, pumping, nice. washing the pump parts. That took me a whole hour. And it's like, I don't, I, I need as much sleep as I can get. So I had to do that twice because then early morning again, like the, the, the third feed of the night, she still wouldn't latch. I'm like, all right. So I did what I had to do. Um, and then, was it? No, I'm getting confused. Yeah, all night long she would not latch. And then, when Ken got up with Bailey at like 6 in the morning, 
that's when she latched and she latched for 30 minutes and I was like okay so she still knows how to do this and then um a couple hours later she didn't want to latch so I had to give her another bottle and then when she got up for like the day she latched and then again so like the past two times she has like it's just really weird it seems like the middle of the night now she just doesn't want to do it so that's been like super stressful I've been crying and it's just like I don't know I just I don't know, she's six days old, so it's like, I, we were doing so well, and I just worry that, like, it's just gonna go to how it was when I had Scarlett, and I had to pump all the time, and I don't want our lives to go around me having to pump, because that was really annoying and hard, and I don't know, I'm just having a tough time with all that, but I didn't mean to talk for so long, so let's let's move on, now that's half the vlog's over, sorry guys. I'll leave in an hour. Uh, <laughs> here's a little troublemaker, rest in peace, Billy. Oh, sorry. Mom is too loud. Too loud. Ken's trying to rest on Scarlett. She's like, no, leave me alone, Dad. <laughs> so I'm back at the Potter League um, picking Bailey up. I'm like a half hour early. I thought there'd be more traffic than there actually was. So I'm just kind of waiting in the parking lot. I might just go in and see if she's ready early, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I didn't like the drive here. It started downpouring, and now it's fine again. Just very weird weather. Uh, on top of that, this place is like right next to an airport and I had no idea until about like three seconds before hitting record. A plane flew uh, what I felt was way too close to my head. But anyway, I'm here. I'm gonna get my, my little baby girl, uh, my little fur baby, and yeah, just hopefully bring her home. It's been a long time since I baby wore it, but I think I got her in. Um, it only took one try. But I don't, I don't know. She feels secure, but I feel like it looks funny. I don't know. But anyway, I figured I'll put her in this, and then Scarlett and I can go outside for a little bit, right? Um, I really want to open a ball. You want to open the ball? You don't want to go outside? I don't. There's like a Mickey ball that has like stickers and stuff in it, and she's been dying to see what's inside it. All right, well, we can do that. That's fine. Where did you put the ball? Um, I put it somewhere. No, you lost it already. I think you left it in the bedroom. Why are you picking it? No, stop it. There's the ball. There you go. Let me see. Let's open it. Are you sure? It's, so it has an activity sheet and 40 stickers. This is what you want me to open? I can open it. Oh, you can? Let me see. Uh, do I take the sticker off? <laughs> it's a piece of plastic. I'll do it. Let me see. What's in there? Stickers. Stickers. Green. An activity pad, like it said. <laughs> I think it's like for coloring and stuff. Let me see. So it's hard to do this one handed. Let me put the camera down. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a coloring pad. That's pretty cool. And then the stickers are behind it. Whoa. Yeah, there Does you go. Does it come with colorings? No, it doesn't come with crayons, but you have crayons you can use. I'm going to get them for you. Why doesn't it stay? Because it's been rolled up. I'm going to get your crayons. I'll get your crayons. So a completely different experience from when I got Allie, when Allie got spayed. Uh, Allie could barely walk. Bailey... <laughs> still full of energy. She's such a good pup, though. Um, but she's... It's like nothing happened to her. Except she's wearing a cone. Uh, so, you still come over when I turn the camera on. She knows that's She's... Oh. I love you, Bailey. Guys, this cone... Uh-uh. Yeah, we're gonna get a different cone. Because it's not working for her. Yeah, we would pick up order at PetSmart for a donut. She can't eat or drink with that. Like, she can't get to it at all. So... Yeah. The vet said you could do the I mean, donut one. honestly, I think they didn't trim it to the right size. No, like they definitely didn't. But Allie, it was a lot smaller. Yeah. Was, so like, bigger. <laughs> I I ordered one at PetSmart, like the the inflatable style, that makes it easier for them. But if they end up being sold out for some reason, like if the order gets canceled because they don't have it in stock or whatever, I'm just gonna trim that down a little more because she can't. Like, her her nose should be, like, at the edge of it, and it's not. Like, I, you can, you guys can see. Like, she, this is a good, like, four inches from her face to the end of the cone. Like, 
it's impossible for her to reach food and water. So, yeah. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to end today's vlog. If you liked the video, well, let me know in the comments why. Uh, but yeah, like it anyway. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And any advice for the breastfeeding? She did latch the whole day. So I think it's just some type of problem at night with me now. I don't know. She uh, doesn't like your tired, stressed boob. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>